Hey, Mike Callahan here. I want to make a quick video how to go in and use your Service Autopilot document editor and actually be able to utilize stock photos in case you don't have marketing copy or photos of your own. So this is a great starting point. I recommend using your own photos, but if you don't have them yet, or maybe you're in a season um, in the lawn care industry where you don't have season particular photos, we can use this free stock option to go out and get some marketing copy built out. So I'm going to show you how to use these stock photos and how to manipulate some of the photos inside the document editor once you're in there. So what we're going to do is going to go and uh, break down the screen here. Uh, under the gear icon right here, you would go in, type in uh, document for the document editor. Upper right hand corner in the orange, we're going to add a document. I'm going to select the document type as other, but you can do estimate, emails, and multiple others. Uh, at a bare minimum, we have to name it, and we're going to save it. Now we're going to open up the document. Here. It's going to give you several different options of, of templates. I'm actually going to go into a blank template and show you how to build this out right from the get-go. So in the document editor, uh, we want to click on rows up top here, and it's a drag-and-drop builder. So it's building the structure, and then you insert what you want in there. So I'm going to drag over... Uh, this guy here as well, and then I'm going to go to content, and I'm going to drag an image over, and I'm going to hit browse. Now, all the images I've already uploaded, uh, you can upload them off your uh, computer. So you can upload them, import them, or search free photos is one option here. So this is a stock photo option. So if you're in the cleaning industry and we typed in cleaning, it's going to pull up a bunch of uh, pictures that may be applicable to the cleaning industry. Um, so as we scroll through, we've got a few of them. So let's go with the bucket and a couple of the uh, cleaning products inside there. And depending on what you search on, there is uh, multiple variations of different pictures and industries. Um, but I'm going to go in and click on that uh, cleaning image now and hit insert. And now I've got it in my document. So when I click on that, that's going to give me some additional options in there so under auto width right here i can go in and shrink it down if it wants we want that to be smaller or drop it up so i'm going to leave it at 100 percent and now we can align it based on it's where left or right justified or center so other cool thing you can do here is go in into apply effects and more so as we type in this this is going to allow us to manipulate the stock image or our existing image that we've uploaded ourselves so we can crop it we can resize it, we can add filters, we can draw. Uh, one of the cool things here that, that I, I like to do is adding in shapes. Uh, so let's just say, in this instance, we're gonna go with purple. And we can add some text in here. So what we've done here is taken this, and we can go in and say weekly cleaning specials, whatever that is. So we can go in and manipulate these things and actually insert text into the actual image itself and manipulate it right on the fly. So this is one way you can take a image that you've had or a stock image and go in and add to it. Uh, so this is gonna help with conversions or different things that you want to stick out or call to actions. So we can go in and we can manipulate the color of that as well. So now that we have that, we're gonna apply it, and now that's in our image. Uh, maybe we wanna crop it. We can crop different parts of it. Uh, but whatever we wanna do, we can add and apply effects to that, and that's under the apply effects and more right here. So maybe I wanted to go in and add some text again and drag that up and maybe click here to save and we'd apply it and we're going to save it and now that's going to be in the actual image so where i'm going with this is it necessarily doesn't have to be this image but now if we go into on the right hand side open a web page send an email make a phone call or text if i have a url i can type in a simple landing page that could be um, associated with that And if I put our website in there, now when they click on that image, it drives them to that URL. Uh, there are also some other options here. We can do some padding or different options as far as um, rounding the sides of the image 
or making it look a certain way. We can hide it on the desktop or the mobile if that's a certain thing you want as far as your conversion ratio. So just wanted to make a quick video to let you know there is more functionality behind the document editor than just dragging and dropping, but we can go in and use stock photos, for instance, or existing images and create images and manipulate the documents, the images inside the document, and then link them out to a phone call, a text, or a website um, for more conversion and engagement on your documents, whether they're emails, estimate documents, or any other type of document you're building in Service Autopilot. So if you have any comments, questions, let me know, but I wanted to show you one of the unknown features or highly unknown features in Service Autopilot's document editor of stock photos and then the ability to uh, manipulate and customize either stock photos or your own photos inside the document editor. So hopefully that was helpful. Any comments or questions, drop below and I'll watch it for the next uh, 24 to 48 hours. Thanks.